you know what this means. Happy Saturday, welcome back to the channel. We got an install to do today. So today, we got the iCamper Mini going in here. This is the iCamper SkyCamp Mini 3.0. We're gonna be installing that on my, you guess it, Toyota Tacoma. We're also gonna be using the Cali raised bed rail for the back of the Tacoma. All that's in, so let's get ready to install but it. But also, there's actually room to install it. My sister saw the mess that my garage has become, so she came by a few weeks ago and completely cleaned everything up again and helped me get this thing back to back to an organized chaos again. So now there's room to install the Sky Camp in the garage. Didn't think that was gonna happen. The first thing we have to do is remove this Tiger tonneau cover. It's like four bolts holding it on. The noise is a little loud so far, trying to get the uh, temperature up here a little bit above 30, hopefully in the 50s. Um, so I got the bed rail completely undone, just gotta take it off. But hey, I noticed you weren't subscribed to the channel. You should, you should definitely consider subscribing. We're gonna be going on some fun adventures with this Toyota Tacoma and the SkyCamp Main 3.0. So like, comment, subscribe, check it out. So this is the Cali raised LED um, truck rail, bed rail system. Uh, I'm gonna get it completely unboxed now and get all the screws and all that stuff organized so I can figure out how to get this installed on the bed. And Sarah's here to help me because that thing weighs 200 pounds and I can't lift it myself. <laughs> So we got all these bolts and nuts organized because it was utter, utter chaos coming out of that box. Now this isn't a tutorial. I'm gonna link the tutorial right here that I'm following. Um, so this is more of just gonna be follow along, watch us struggle or hopefully don't break anything as we get this uh, bed rail system put together. So next step is to, I believe the next step is to put the feet on and attach the feet, attach these feet to those side rails, I believe. But we're taking the legs here and we're attaching these feet to it right there. And then we're going to attach, and then attach four of the larger bolts, washers, and nuts as following the video. What? Come on! Well, you'll do the zombie kind of movies. Yeah, I like the... I like zombies and like apocalypse movies. Mm -hmm. I guess because it deals with um, prepping. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I like that. I, I enjoy that. So we're going to do is take our two horizontal. Dang, it's already getting cold in here again. All right, and we're back. I did not have standard Allen keys. All my Allen keys were metric. And this is the first time I've ever had to use a standard Allen key bolt. First time ever. So now that we have the right tools from Lowe's and more propane, we're gonna get these crossbars mounted and measure them six inches in and then lock them down tight. All right, so we got that locked in six inches at each one of these corners. All of that, that hour trip to get this and it took what? Two and minutes. And we got Krispy Kremes. And Krispy Kreme and propane so it can be warm again. Here we have we have the side rails tightened down. Um, there's a like a nut that slides back here, and then this gets locked in. We tighten all these up, tighten these up. These are already tight, so the bed rack is now installed. The only thing we have left to do is install the little side panels that go here for hanging stuff and providing more side-to-side -side support. So that's what's next. That is right here. 
So this will go on the side. All right, we're at the point of unboxing the Sky Camp Mini. The bed frame, the bed rack frame is installed. Now it's time to get this unboxed and do it the right way. Where's the arrow at? Right okay. There, so. So, uh, Yeah, I went with the, um, whatever, the Matt. Matt. Yeah. All right, so here is the eye camp. Apparently this resists like tree scratches and branches better than the, the painted surface. So. so next up is getting the mounting kit installed and then it really is just gonna be lift and drop it up there. Pro box. Good idea. <laughs> So for those watching at home, it's got these little brackets and they they slide in the channels on the uh, on the sky camp um, and it just clamps down onto the bedroom. Do you yeah. see it like closing? Yeah. Clamp? Yeah, it's closing. Alright. Do we want to stop? And this starts to come out. So this is like a fingernail length away from my rear window, so we're gonna move that. That was that was actually pretty easy. A little annoying with the with the four foot Allen key, but it works. So it's clamped to the bed. There is just enough space between here and here. I don't think that will be a problem. All right, next up is taking the keys. And what are you doing? I just, <laughs> for science. No. All right, so don't let it, let it free fall. Or, no, no, okay. Oh, because oh. oh, it has to go completely open. Yeah. All right, so this is opening up the uh, eye camper. It almost fit inside. Oh, wow. Holy crap, there's so much space in there. <laughs> we'll worry about the rain flying in a second. Let's get it open. Wow, I love how it smells like new car in here. I want to come in. Huh? <laughs> oh, here's the instructions on how to put all the rails and everything on. Oh, this is nice. 
This is a lot of space. Yeah. How are they gonna include the instructions inside, inside the yeah. freaking eye camper when we needed it to mount it? Yeah. Eye camper, come on now. <laughs> Why you do that? So the four long ones are for the window. The two short ones are for the front. This is very confusing getting the um, rain flies working. Oh, you got this. You want to tell me what you did? <laughs> oh, because this goes in at an angle. Uh huh. And it, it tensions in right here. Oh, uh, so these have to be disconnected and free. And then. And then they hook back on. All right, so this is the iCamper 3.0 Mini on a 2014 Toyota Tacoma. Um, only thing I wish I knew beforehand was the, so with this height of bed rack, and maybe somebody knows better, let me know if you know better, um, I can't get this far enough away from here to use the uh, awning. The awning rails the awning rails would hit the side of the, the cab right here so i can't use the awning over here unless there's a better way if there's a better way let me know but front works and then side over here works as well and then oh, this can be pulled out of the way so that is a rooftop tent i cannot believe i cannot believe i own a rooftop tent now it looks good tires. yeah those tires are looking pretty sad a little bald what can I say? I haven't really used this, so now it's nice that this has a purpose. Well, this is going to wrap up today's video on installing the iCamper and the Cali Raised LED bed rack on the back of a Toyota Tacoma. Um, I would expect next I'm going to do my usual camping in the backyard video to do a, a pilot run of testing in this tent. Um, the vehicle has no issues driving, but I want to make sure that I have everything I need for tent camping on the back of a truck versus camping in, say, a van. So that'll be coming up next. Probably watch out for that next Saturday. But until then, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, definitely consider subscribing below. Like and comment if you have any ideas. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. If you Bye. like this content and want to see some more, click here to subscribe. Click here to see the Van Life, the trial series, where I go through and build the Volkswagen van again and all the failures that come along with that. And if you want to see how this garage got so clean, feel free to check out my sister's channel right here because she went and did time lapses on how she cleaned and organized and got this place from a disaster to clean again, except for this area. Don't look at this area. This is the mess from the iCamper. Don't look at this. I, I'll clean it up, I swear. All right, bye.